Hello friends, welcome to Learn One. So let's start with AngloJS. So in this session, what we will see is uh, what is AngloJS. Just go to what is AngloJS. So let me tell you that AngloJS is a JavaScript framework. It's a library which is written in JavaScript. How to use it? For that, you have to include that JavaScript file into your HTML page. After including that file, you have to write some code in your HTML file. Then you run your application and you can see the output. So in this way you can run your AngularJS application. What are the features of AngularJS application? It is widely used to create Spark and application, to make interactive rich websites and many more things. So this is very beneficial to do this type of stuff. So this is what AngularJS is. Now we are looking forward for what are the prerequisites for AngularJS. So what we do need to know about before proceeding to AngularJS. So these are the few things which many people know. But if someone do not know what it is then it is better to have a complete or at least brief knowledge about these things what are these these are HTML CSS and JavaScript so what is HTML it is known to all of us this is a hypertext markup language it is used to create a website we can create many static website and many things in your HTML second part is CSS what is CSS CSS is a cascading style sheet. It is used to make your website more interactive and to give some look and feel touch. So this is what CSS. And another thing is JavaScript which is very important in this case because the whole our AngularJS program is written in JavaScript. So you have to know what the JavaScript is before proceeding to AngularJS. So JavaScript is a programming technique for web technologies through which you can do lots of things like event driven thing and some event happen you have to write something and these type of thing you can manage in your JavaScript file. So in this way these three things are very very important to learn AngularJS. Let me summarize you. What are these things? This is JavaScript, HTML and CSS. Now we will look the overall structure of AngularJS. Here you can see that how it is overally, overall managed. Okay. So what happened exactly? First, AngularJS loads when your page loads in your browser. So it looks for the ng app directive of AngularJS. Once it finds that directive, it starts compiling the whole program, the whole section of that attribute or tag then it execute the whole program so for that we need many things like uh, ng init to initialize some variable ng app to declare our application what the module is you are going to use and ng model to bind your variable into your html and ng uh, bind you can say or it can be used as curly braces to show your any variables value in your view in your html so in this way, when you run a program of uh, AngularJS, it executes in this way. First, it finds ng app, then it finds uh, ng model, then ng bind, and then it runs. So in this way, we can see that uh, the overall structure and it uh, works accordingly. Here you can see, here this is an example. So in this way, it is done that uh, a basic knowledge of AngularJS so we have seen that uh, what is AngularJS. So in our next uh, uh, session, we will see the example of uh, AngularJS.